Greater Swiss Mountain Dog The Greater Swiss Mountain Dog is a dog breed which was developed in the Swiss Alps. The name Sen and Hund refers to people called Sen or Senner, dairymen and herders in the Swiss Alps. Greater Swiss Mountain Dogs are almost certainly the result of indigenous dogs mating with large mastiff types brought to Switzerland by foreign settlers. The ancient ancestors of the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog arrived to the distant regions of Switzerland with Roman subjugators. They gradually assimilated with local canine population, which led to appearance of multiple varieties of so-called Senan hunts. Four of them survive to the present day and the grosser Schweizer Senan Hund is the largest and the most powerful of these Swiss native breeds. The dog was proficient at handling livestock, including herding and guarding its subordinated domestic animals. This caused its enormous popularity with cattle breeders and butchers. In fact Senan Hund is loosely translated as dog of the alpine herdsman. Nonetheless its responsibilities weren't just brought to livestock management as this dog was widely used to draw carts loaded with dairy products and other wares to markets and cheese works. Local farmers also relied on their four-legged assistants to guard their premises from wolves and other unwanted guests. By the end of 19th century in Switzerland traditional ways of transportation were mostly replaced by more fast and reliable modern alternatives so the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog had lost much of its appeal in the role of a herder and cart drafter. This invariably led to dramatic decrease in its population. The breed would have faced a very sad fate of a complete demise if it hadn't been for a Professor Albert Heim from Zurich. A famous Swiss dog expert of those times. He and Franz Schertenlib put forth valiant efforts in order to collect the best remaining specimens of the grosser Schweizer Sen and Hund and launched a special breeding program. Thanks to their selfless labor the dog received formal recognition of the Swiss Kennel Club in 1910. The grosser Schweizer Sen and Hund made its way to the United States in the middle of the 20th century after a few American canine fans observed it on a dog show in Frankfurt, Germany. Since then its number in this country slowly but continuously grew. The American Kennel Club fully recognized the greater Swiss mountain dog in 1995. Modern breed member is largely spared from its initial duties although it surely preserves much of its working drive and stamina. Nonetheless the grosser Schweizer Sen and Hund has a chance to demonstrate its numerous talents in all sorts of canine trials, especially obedience, weight pulling and carting. For the most part of its history the greater Swiss mountain dog was bred exclusively as a working animal and still enjoys fine reputation in this role. Nonetheless today it was decisively re-qualified to a lovable companion dog that stands out for its deep-rooted loyalty and close attachment to its human family. It loves spending time in the company of exuberant kids and always treats them with essential care. However as the breed member may knock down a toddler inadvertently in the heat of a game it won't make the best pet for families with very small children. The greater Swiss mountain dog tends to feel a burning desire to defend its masters and territory from any sort of threats, including ill-intended strangers. So it comes as no surprise that this dog is extremely reserved and standoffish around unfamiliar people. However unmotivated human aggressiveness is rather non-typical for this dog so once correctly socialized it will be moderately friendly with guests in your house. This dog is always quick to notify its masters about any suspicious change in its surroundings, which makes it a very reliable watcher and, unfortunately, an obnoxious barker. In most cases the intimidating appearance and menacing barking are more than enough to scare off any unwelcomed guest but the grosser Schweizer Sen and Hund has both willingness and courage for immediate confrontation if the situation calls for it. The breed is averagely accepting of other canines. On the whole it does best in a single dog homestead although it gets on perfectly well with other dogs of the opposite sex. The greater Swiss mountain dog usually takes hostile stand as far as it concerns homeless creatures, especially cats. Nonetheless it's rather well behaved with familiar domestic pets, although it may chase in attempt to herd them like cattle. The Greater Swiss Mountain Dog is a powerful and athletic dog that demands a great deal of physical activity on a daily basis. 
However couple of long and brisk walks per day are quite enough to keep this dog fit and happy. In winter it will be absolutely elated if allowed to pull a sled with familiar kids on board. This breed is much too big and boisterous to be kept in a small apartment and does much better in the countryside where it has plentiful space to move. Of course the dog of such size and strength must be released off leash only in a safely enclosed area. Be aware that the under-exercised grocer Schweizer Sen and Hun usually exhibits numerous behavioral deviations, including hyperactivity indoors, uncontrollable barking and even unpredictable aggressiveness.